Go ahead. This was an impressive game for both teams, right? Washington State, remember, they were ranked 13th in the country a couple weeks ago. And they came out and played like they did when they were ranked 13th in the nation. And I think for the Oregon Ducks, they look like a CFP caliber team should look. You take a team's best shot, you meet the moment when you need to, and you respond to adversity. And that's what they did. And to me, there was a moment in this game. It's 10-10, and here comes Washington State. They got a chance to make a play down the sideline. It's a nice job, a nice scheme. And the play doesn't happen. You'll see it right here, right down the sideline. I like it. I like the throw. Can't convert on the play. 10-10. No. You're thinking, here come the Cougs. With you, brother. <laughs> that's, a, that's a tough one. But then, as we saw in the highlight, it was the Bucky Irving show and Bo Nix. Bo Nix completes over 70% of his passes again. Have done that. Has done that every game this year. And checking it down when he knows, hey, that's the easy completion. He's done such a nice job of reading defenses, making high percentage reads. And then this man. How about this? One cut right here in the hole. This offensive line, Nigel, I think it's the most improved offensive line in the league. Think of Texas Tech. All those false starts they had. This offensive front is rolling. They're moving the line of scrimmage. Washington State, they play as hard as anybody, I think, defensively in the league. And they were able to consistently find creases in the run game. A complete win. They're a team that should be talked about as a CFP caliber program all around the country, even though they had that loss from last week.